I don't know why Adamu Gaba is furious because Chatham House invites a Peter Obi because they know there's going to be difference. <laughs> Popular APC chieftain Adamu Gaba has reacted following the invitation of Peter Obi for an interview at Chatham, Chatham House in London. The APC, who has been a vocal supporter, took to his Twitter page to react to the news. Reacting to the news carried by Channel TV, Adamu said he will go and discuss Indonesia, Vietnam, Bangladesh, and India. This is what he is trying to tell all about. Okay, ah, oh. Adamu Gaba is of the opinion that Peter B will go there and talk about other countries. Recall that the Chatham, um, the presidential candidate of the APC, Ashwajibola Metinubu, had also been invited earlier to the Chatham House where he spoke on some of his plans of Nigeria for Nigeria if elected president. Another thing that caused a mild controversy over the interview was the fact that Enubu delegated members of the APC to answer certain questions, a practice in which the APC described as a teamwork. They know that uh, going there, will be going there is going to fall their hand. <laughs> okay, so he's going to talk about Indonesia. After the Tinubu interview, the Chatham House has now reached out to another presidential candidate in the person of Peter Obi. His interview is scheduled to hold next year on January 16, 2023. The invitation has caused a sense of jubilation among the Labour Party faithful and supporters of Peter Obi. So, I don't know why is that a problem. <laughs> Adamo Gaba couldn't see any tangible thing to say. Adamu is already afraid that Obi's presence in Tatam will bring the scorecard of Tinubu's performance there to the open. However, if Adamu is or was a student of development policies, he will know that what led Europe to colonialism was continuous mentioning of the potentials of Africa that is untapped. Also, the development index that countries realize on is also as a result of continuous study of both the politics and development of nations. I'm surprised Adamu doesn't know this and yet is in a presidential circle. It is unfortunate those who are supposed to learn and lead us. No wonder we are almost thinking how did even APC government know that China has money to borrow from if not discussing and studying their economy. I'm shocked to the bone Maru. He has no team to showcase his one man show. He knows it all. We should be ashamed of ourselves as a people. It is not an isolated case. Even at the state level, we play politics with important issues. The fundamental question is competence and not teamwork. It has never been heard of that a person was interviewed and he deployed the team members to answer questions meant for him. A leader of 21st century should have basic knowledge not expert knowledge about the economy security other nation national issues are seen in other climes we nigerians enable failure and incompetence we enable is about some just say don't stop enabling failure but no i pray that your type will be the first victim of tinubu's incompetence if he wins leave this um educated illiterate to keep talking rubbish, APC and PDP supporters are incapable of forming their own opinions. All they do is repeat whatever they hear from their candidates without bothering to fact check. Yes, these are proven success stories. Unlike the fake reference of an for uh, to an undeveloped Lagos as a point of a reference from the looters of the economy of Lagos State. Honestly, Lagos is ought to be like small London or Dubai, if not for the grip of Tinubu. Honestly, it is really, really ridiculous. I just hope and wish people can see beyond their nose. He will discuss it with his own mouth, not delegating people to answer them. And it was really boring for the moderators, especially the mod okay, that moderator, for, you know, even the way the little question or what even said Tinubu said it was not even inspiring so boring so boring because if you ask somebody a question the person answers you and 
in that answer in that person answering that your question you have another question to ask and that is how it's going to be it's going to be very interactive unlike a apc supporter they were just a shouting hey big, 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 clapping and all of that honestly it's very very uncalled for he's going to go there peter b will go there and discuss by himself there there our economy procedure uh procedure we exhibit the charisma of a man to hold power for a nation of 215 million lives all hail peter b peter b see countries which by now should have been greater than those countries gaba obi is simply telling nigerians to note that with uh, facts and figures and you know this apc eh, they are so dangerous they are the ones who will come up with, come up with a uh, oh why should you go and be saving money oh why should you go and be debating oh why should you go to church those on un- unnecessary things Useless things they will be bringing. You just be wondering, are we in the twenty first century? Hmm, it's really so bad. He might talk about other countries, but people will understand what he's talking about. Is that not better than speaking Gugu Gaga, like a one year old baby that nobody understands? At least he will be intelligent enough to answer questions himself, unlike your dumb Sinai candidates who needs the help of other others to answer a very simple question as he was on a who wants to be a millionaire show of course who wants to be a millionaire show they will tell you call other people to do that one is a different program call other people to be able to bail you out to rescue you well what will it take for you guys to understand that out of the 18 presidential candidates Tinubu is the most incompetent exactly he can't even stand there, Shora. He can't even stand all of all those, uh, even those other ones. Are Shora is even a popular person. You psychophants are only supporting him because of his questionable wealth. Hmm, this is undiluted truth. At least we need a president that we would hold accountable for the run up of the government, not someone that will blame the living and the dead for his stupidity. Obi will land there with a solid team, but we answer questions by himself not delegating questions to monkeys snakes and lizards to answer you people can only deceive yourselves and your useless generations not everybody of a truth peter b is giving plenty people headache the world we also taste from my mother's spot go and verify i'm obediently but uh, dasified small fat boy without respect i don't even see you ever attack Atiku or Kwakwansu? Are they not presidential candidates too? Hmm. That's it. That's it too. It's only uh uh-uh. those ones say they don't say those ones not to get a uh, people will be say they run after them. Now that would be they give them wahala. You can imagine saying that he's going to go there. If he does not discuss, that's it will tell you that he's very intelligent, he knows what is happening outside his domain. He's be, he will be giving references, making references, but that one, he not be do anything. Now to they abuse everybody, now you know. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.